welcome to the National Security Test Range. We're about 40 miles west of Idaho Falls. We're in the middle of a 890 square mile desert. The range has a capability of uh, up to 20,000 pounds NEW above ground. The reason we can do that is because the government owns the 890 square miles. We don't have the typical problems that other ranges have throughout the U.S. of people encroaching on the range and, and hurting their range limits. We'll always have this range limit. So right now we have two explosive ranges. We have what we call the south test pad. It's 3,000 meter sniper range. We have a north test pad that is an explosive range and a west test pad that it's another explosive range. Part of the support that we do here at the lab is, is we support our special response team, the SRT team that's attached to the protective force. On that team, they have an explosive capability, basically to do any kind of recapture recovery here for the things that we're protecting at the lab. We are the only ones in the nation that can certify those guys as explosive handlers, explosive breachers. So they come out to us for two weeks at a time and we teach them the math, uh, what kind of explosives to use on what targets, um, the proper way to use the explosives. So what we teach out here is primarily unique, low explosive weight charges for doors, reinforced concrete walls, steel. It's an application of explosive course more than a breaching course. We have multiple different types of explosives out here. We have RDX, HMX, uh, PETN based explosives. And we show them how each one of them works on different types of materials. So the breaching charges they build they're gonna to have to decide which explosives they're going to use. We're the only range in the nation that can certify a DOE breacher. In addition, we bring a lot of the military special forces guys out here and we'll show them some new techniques that we've learned over the years. We teach standoffs, charge calculations, charge placement, explosive applications. Most of the military units are using field manual FN 5250 or SWIL 60 field manuals. Um, we go way beyond that. So that's why the, the soldiers like to come out here. They see different techniques of getting through different targets. Yeah, I love when the military guys come out here, the special forces guys are the guys that are really using the techniques we're teaching them. We take a lot of pride in it because they're really happy when they leave here. They, we can do a lot of shots out here in a week. I love training the soldiers. That's where I take pride in being able to uh, teach those guys knowing that they're the ones out there doing the work for our nation. I'm proud of what I get to do every day. It's one of the best jobs I've had.